Now, an elbow break forces extreme pressure in a quick snapping motion with tremendous momentum placed against the joint. If I'm in a fighting situation and we are in close range and I can possibly grab this arm, the arm closest to me, then I can put a joint break on his up front arm. A lot of times what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the clinch, grab his arm, and I'm going to make sure that I put force on the joint. Now you'll notice I've got a figure four lock where I take my hand and place it upon my wrist. That gives me ultimate control against this joint lock. Now let me tell you some mistakes you don't want to make. Um, the first one is you've got to make sure that your trapping arm, your right arm in this case, is placed just above the elbow so that you can actually force the joint back. If it's too far down here, it's not really going to do any damage to the elbow. And if he has this freedom to move around, he can actually get behind me and, do, and take me down if he wanted to. So I've got to make sure I quickly and instantly put pressure on that joint. So I have to make sure that my right arm folds behind the joint. I have a figure four hold or grip with my hands. I'm holding his wrist. And another thing I've got to make sure of is I'm pushing the joint, okay, inside or against the crook of my arm. Of course, this is a control tactic. If I put any kind of pressure on it, you know, he would probably have the chance to tap. On the other hand, in a real situation, in a fast exchange, and I get inside from the clinch and I've got a hold of his arm, I'm going to snap this as quickly as possible. I'm going to put as much pressure on the joint to dislocate the arm at the elbow joint. All right? So this is a very important joint breaking technique or joint destruction that can be applied from inside or from close range. The elbow joint destruction can also be applied from the rear. So if we're in close and we're maneuvering for position, and let's say my opponent grabs me up high, okay? What I want to be able to do is I want to be able to break the elbow from this position. So what I do is I hold onto his arm, I move out this way, okay? And I take, maneuver underneath. Now he looks like he's got me in a choke. But what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to position my shoulder beneath his elbow. Now you'll notice where my legs are. He has no means of escape. He can try to throw me, but I'm trying to keep my balance. At, from this position, what I'm going to do is grab a wrist. I'm going to, again, make sure that his elbow, okay, is located on my shoulder. And I am simply going to pull down and elevate to exert tremendous pressure on his elbow joint. Now, if I wanted to break the elbow, I would violently uh, jam the elbow downward in one quick movement, just like in any um, neck break uh, or neck crank. What I'm going to have to do here is do this violently and quickly, all right? So no hesitation. So once I get this position, I've got his arm, I've got him trapped, a grip by the wrist. I've got to make sure that the elbow joint is positioned above my shoulder or on my shoulder. Then I am going to yank the arm down, and at the same time, I am going to elevate my own body. I'm going to lift off the balls of my feet, and that's going to cause tremendous pressure on his elbow joint. Now, in the tournament arena, if you're in this position, you can easily make your opponent submit. In the street, of course, it's a different story. I'm going to violently again pull that arm down to break the joint. That is the rear elbow break. Here's another application of the rear elbow dislocation. I'm in a situation where I'm being choked from behind. Now, there's a lot of ways to escape this move, but basically what I want to do is I want to get this elbow over my shoulder. Now, against any kind of choke, what you basically want to do is dip your chin. You want to pretty much get it in the crook of his arm so that he doesn't actually have his arm uh, draped across um, your Adam's apple or your throat. 
Now, another way to release this hold is to somehow use your hand manipulations to grab the fingers, OK? So basically, this is an old Greek technique known as finger bending. I attack the small joints of the fingers, all right? And again, it's done basically through tactile perception, feeling for the fingers, putting your chin down so we cannot choke you. Now, I could throw them from here. I could dip, bring them over my back. But one of the most basic ways and most effective ways of ending the conflict is to simply grab a finger and bend it. At the same time, manipulate the arm. Get it like I did before, twisting the palm so it faces upwards, having the elbow positioned on your shoulder, and again, pull down violently, violently, and elevate for some extra force. OK, let's go through that move again. I am being choked. The first thing I've got to do is I've got to maneuver my chin into the crook of his elbow to stop him from gaining a full choke on me. So I dip my chin in against my breastplate, all right, right inside the crook of his elbow. Now he is not really choking me. I feel no pressure against my Adam's apple or my windpipe. At the same time, I start manipulating. I use my hands moving around. I'm not standing still. And lo and behold, I get a finger, or I might even get a thumb. I quickly grip the arm so that the elbow is positioned on my shoulder. I then pull the elbow down quickly, without hesitation. And at the same time, I step up. That will automatically dislocate and break the elbow joint. Hey, gang, quick announcement. I've got some ultra brutal fight ending moves that I'm not able to share with you here on the YouTube platform. They're too ugly, too vicious, and quite honestly, too lethal. YouTube simply doesn't want this kind of material on their site. I can't blame them. This stuff is pretty rough, but when the shit hits the fan and your life is on the line, you're gonna need something truly nasty to end a fight in just a matter of seconds. This lethal training is yours free. Just click on the link below and it'll take you to the site so you can get your free video right now. Thanks for watching our video lessons here at TRS Direct. Hit the like button down below and consider subscribing to our channel here on YouTube. Hit the bell icon and we'll send you a notification when there's a new lesson available. Thanks again for watching.